It's 12.30, this is City News. Coming up, next week's tube strikes are in doubt after one union pulls out of talks. Islington Council cracks down on the illegal tobacco trade. And we meet the up-and-coming artists exhibiting at this week's London Art Fair. Welcome to City News, I'm Kit Bradshaw. The centre has also built a reputation for research and training. Dr Jane Kavanagh is a sexual health specialist at UCL and has worked here for 18 years. What they may do is they may fragment the service and spread it around Camden uh, into different clinical settings and downgrade the service. Now Britain last voted on EU membership in 1975 but soon we'll be going to the polls once again and for some Haringey residents it's time to take action. Elias von Hildebrand went to find out more about Haringey in Europe, the latest grassroots campaign to get going. Islington Council sources told me that final designs for this redevelopment could be published within two weeks with planning permission and possibly even building work starting before this summer. It seems time might be running out for the local campaigners who hope to stop these plans. Kit Bradshaw, City News. Now, a scheme that allows Islington's GPs to send people for job advice is threatening the doctor-patient relationship. That's according to mental health campaigners. They fear that vulnerable people could feel bullied into taking low-paid or unsuitable work or be put off seeing their doctor altogether. Hannah Barnett reports. There have been regular protests against it, but today was the first protest by Uber drivers themselves. They're unhappy after the firm announced it was to change their contracts, up in the commission from 20 to 25 per cent per fare. I've worked 90 hours in July in a week, um, and we're all working very hard to stay above float, but another 5 per cent increase to lose 50 to 75 pounds a week, we simply cannot afford that. A dementia care home in Gospel Oak has failed to pass a safety inspection by the Care Quality Commission just months after opening. The watchdog's inspectors found three residents at Wellesley Road Care Home had been left lying in their beds for a fortnight. Shaw Healthcare, the company that runs the home, blamed the poor treatment on teething problems in getting the service up and running. Mike Power lives less than 100 yards from the park and also helps maintain the clock tower. He showed me the leaked council report, which reveals that 61% of local residents who responded to the consultation opposed the plans. The council are hiding these results, deliberately hiding them, and it's an absolute scandal. Now, today is National Hugging Day, where everyone's encouraged to hug a complete stranger to cheer them up. You can find out more on our website, citybroadcast2015.wordpress.com, and there's five reasons listed there on why hugging a total stranger will be sure to cheer you up. That's all from us for now from me and all the team, and Hannah. Bye-bye.